Shalom. I'm recording on my iPhone because I forgot my camera. Um, I just wanted to talk about a couple of things. I've been kind of silent. <laughs> um, by the way, I'm in my grandmother's car, which is the funnest car in the world to drive. Um, but I have to be quick because I don't think I have a lot of record time. So I wanted to uh, talk about a couple of things. Uh, right now I'm going to go get my grandmother groceries and uh, change the mirrors. Basically, first of all, I wanted to say that today is the 25th day of the counting of the Omer. That's basically kind of a uh, measure, measurement of the uh, barley that uh, scripture talks about. You, you know, you do 50 days of the counting of the Omer. Um, it's basically leading up to Shavuot, or which is known in mainstream Christianity as uh, Pentecost. Um, the different translations are 50 days or the uh, Feast of Weeks, things like that. Um, and you do that for seven Sabbaths, and then you count one more day, which makes 50 days. Uh, that'll be the first day of the week, and that will be Shavuot. Um, so we're basically on day 25, which is the, it's the midway marker, basically. So I wanted to share that with you guys in case you didn't know. Um, also, going on with me, personal stuff now, <laughs> I lost my job. Uh, there was complications due to the fact that I um, keep the feasts and, you know, the scriptural feasts, which command, you know, not working on certain days as well as Shabbat and uh, the fact that I had jury duty. Uh, which was a murder case, and I was the foreman. They nominated me foreman. I uh, don't know why. <laughs> but um, that was over with, and, um, you know, it, it really, it was a hard time, and I'm currently unemployed, and that's, uh, that's pretty hard on me and my family. So uh, I'm actually going to a job preview today to see about that. If things work out, and I'll have a pretty busy job. But please pray for me that I get a job that's going to work out for me and my family and everything else, as well as my faith. That's the hardest thing is trying to find a job that works with the faith, you know. So that's that's the uh, that's that's what's going on. Um, it's been a very stressful time for me, and I'm still working through things, trying my best. I'm doing okay. Um, my grandmother has been very supportive uh, as far as helping me out with certain things. And, um, you know, I stayed there, Carl. That's just where I'm at. I wanted to share that uh, with you guys. Um, and thanks for all your support. And if you've been sending me messages and comments and things like that, I'm sorry if I haven't gotten to respond because, um, you know, I'm a stay-at-home dad now. So, yes, I could be on the computer, but I'm also doing daddy things and kind of housewife things kind of stuff. I'm also looking for jobs and um, just doing all kinds of things. So, you know, that's where I'm at. I've gained a little bit extra uh, responsibility with my midrash group uh, and things. So I'm, I'm going to, you know, I'm trying to keep up with things, you know. That's just difficult. Welcome to America. And I've, I've also been keeping up with the, uh, the Boston bombings and stuff. I've been praying for them. And it's been, it's just been a rough time for everybody. I mean, the whole nation's kind of been just rattled. I mean, there's been a lot of things uh, going on. A tornado touched down here in my in the state I live in, or that nuclear, well, not nuclear, uh, the fertilizer plant in Texas had a big explosion. There was, an, uh, 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 you know, the bombings in Boston, followed by the days of manhunting and shootouts and everything, and uh, big earthquake over in India, uh, India, India, Indonesia, Indonesia. You know, there's just been all kinds of crazy stuff going on. And, So, thanks for all your support and your prayers. Um, be blessed. Shalom to you, and thank you for everything.